fish. Some people just hate fish. Other people just uh, love it. How many times when you were a kid did your parents say to you, uh, eat your fish and you'll become intelligent? That uh, it was never explained to you how you could become intelligent from eating fish. Uh, but I suppose research has now sort of shown that uh, fish contains uh, omega-6 and uh, omega-3, which is supposed to help with uh, keeping your brain nice and active. And that's the reason that uh, if you eat fish, then you'll be intelligent. This is white fish, and I'm going to be preparing it. For a dinner, first of all, you I got these from the shop and they were all just nicely cut and cleaned. You put some salt on the, the inside uh, to add some uh, sort of flavour to it. And, uh, salt is always good, not in tremendous quantities, but... Uh, just sufficient to spice up your life. This is the salad plate with some olives and uh, silver skin onions and paprika and or peppers, I don't know, and some cucumber. That's where it's going to go on. And you saw that I did some cuts into the side of the fish. And I was seeing that uh, Gordon Ramsay suggested that uh, spices like rosemary or tim yum, I suppose that's thyme, or uh, rather hard herbs, and they uh, uh, do well uh, when you're frying fish. So we take the rosemary and we put it into the cuts of the that have been made on the side of the fish. And uh, in Finland you can't grow rosemary. It won't survive the winter here, so you have to buy it from the shops. And then we have something called timyami, which I suppose is uh, thyme. And you can take a, a small amount of it and uh, put it into the cavity, into the inside of the fish, uh, so that it'll give it a nice flavour. So we'll just turn it over and uh, sprinkle the the thyme into the inside of the fish, and the other spice that uh, you can use is uh, white pepper just in a small quantity as well here we have the plate again added some more greens this is the Salanova lettuce it's the best lettuce that you can buy when other lettuces uh, wilt in the fridge then Salanova will just uh, remain nice and fresh. And here we're adding the white pepper inside the cavity of the fish. Not a lot. And uh, whiting, I think it, it white fish, this is called white fish, it belongs to the salmon family. And I've also made some uh, couscous, so you put some oil in the bowl and then if you put one deciliter of couscous and one deciliter of water, hot water, with uh, some chicken stock in it. And uh, you just leave it in the bowl for about five minutes and it will absorb all the water and uh, nice and fluffy 
Let's put a plate in it to keep the heat in. And that is the couscous now added to the plate. After it has been cooked, then you have to fluff it up uh, so that all the grains are, are separate. And uh, well, that's it cooked there. And then you can take a little spoon and fork and fluff it up so that all the grains are individual. And one deciliter of uh, couscous is enough for for two people. And you st put one deciliter of stock cube water in it. Now we're going on to the frying. And uh, in Finnish cooking, uh, instead of using oil, they cook a lot with uh, with butter. They say that uh, every single recipe can be improved by, <laughs> by adding butter to it, or uh, if you don't uh, add butter, then you can add cream. So you take the fish and make sure that they're smothered in the butter on the side, put them into the pan, shake them about a little bit, make sure that they're sort of coated in the butter and then just uh, leave them to sizzle. The process, uh, you don't disturb the fish once you've put them into the pan. You leave them there so that the side will, will brown and it's uh, around about four minutes uh, per each side. So that is me putting on the timer, so that I know uh, when to turn them over. Give them a little shake every now and again. Make sure that they're not sort of sticking to the bottom of the frying pan. And then when they've been going for about four minutes, take your fingers and uh, turn them over gently and uh, you can see that the cuts there have uh, opened up and the flesh is exposed so I'm putting on the timer again to give it the other four minutes and you will see also that the fish uh, it changes colour I think when you're cooking tuna, you'll see that, uh, or salmon even, the colour of the fish will change as it becomes cooked. So that goes on then for four minutes, it's sizzling away nicely there until the fish are brown. One of them looks like they're sticking there to the bottom. But uh, the scales on these fish are so very fine that uh, you can eat the skin. So that's it, ready now. And uh, now we have to sort of plate it up and uh, put it on the plate. And it is perfectly cooked. I eat this fish, you just become incredibly intelligent. That's what I find. No kidding. My IQ has just gone up considerably since I've eaten this fish. It's wonderful. So I then call my wife to come and eat it because it's ready. Uh, we have a meal together with some wine. There it is on the plate. You can see where it was cut open that uh, all the flesh is nicely exposed and you can eat the skin and everything. And uh, when you cook it this way, it comes away from the bone just absolutely beautifully. And you're just left with the, the backbone and the other bones uh, attached to it 
and all the flesh is just lovely and nice to eat. <laughs>